something ineffable I can't begin to explain or to give my thanks. Scarborough found Conservatives in Goodhart and Fettel for their annual conference, the first since the party came back to power last October. 4,000 representatives crowded into the halls of the famous spa. Among members of the government, you'll recognize Sir David Maxwell Fife, Captain Crookshank, Sir Walter Monkton, Mr. Thornycroft, Mr. Littleton and Lord Swinton. And as may be guessed, this is Mr. Churchill's arrival for the mass meeting on the final day. Confidence was expressed by the slogan, Winning Through, and the lion emblem devised for the autumn recruiting campaign which the party is launching. Mr. Churchill, who received, of course, a most affectionate ovation, recalled something his opponents had said. What was the first thing they promised us if a Conservative government was elected? War! Churchill, the warmonger, would plunge us into war. <laughs> Only a year ago. That was what they were using. Well, it has not happened yet. On the contrary, there is a general feeling in the world that on the whole, the danger of world war has receded since we became responsible. I've used the word memorable about our conference. Let us also endow it with lasting effect. Let us march forward with our uh, sturdy lions, jaunty lions, yeah, unconquerable lions. <laughs> that was Mr. Churchill's send-off for the recruiting campaign, and the enthusiasm of his supporters at Scarborough must have delighted the party's leader. <laughs> 